Shalom. First off, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, your name Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is with comfort and guides us, especially during these perilous times to come. I also want to give a double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstones and teach and rule well with truth and sincerity and peace and salutations to the elect. Are you going to chase the kingdom of heaven or these hoes? And I say that because, to be honest, the majority of these men in this world, especially in America, especially the ones that are heterosexual, are going to choose <laughs> to chase these women, I believe. Because we understand as men of the Lord that we supposed to be seeking the kingdom of heaven first. But most of the men in this world that don't have this truth, their mindset is focused on, you know, getting a bag ultimately to get these women. Basically get these hoes. And majority of this world, this woman in this kingdom, America, spiritually Egypt, Sodom, Babylon, the great, the virgin daughter of Babylon, are hoes. Because according to the scriptures, if that woman is not with the man that took her virginity, basically if that man is still alive, the one that took her virginity, and she goes to sleep with another man, she's considered a whore, technically. Because... Like the scriptures say in um, Jeremiah, the third chapter, that I'm going to get it. It says, Jeremiah, the third chapter, starting at the top. It said, they say, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. And in this scripture, the Lord was talking about the nation of Israel because he likened us, the Israelites, his chosen people, which today consider, consider the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He considered us like his woman. But like it says, if a man, if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? So the woman in general is likened to the you know to the ground the man carries the seed so when a woman has these different seeds going into her from multiple and various men she's taking on different vibrations of this man that man and then it ultimately caused them to be spiritually you know messed up that's why a lot of these women are um basically um depressed On all types of medications they confuse don't know which way to turn or, or go because they've been raised in this wicked and polluted kingdom like I said I mean ultimately it was due to the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh for us disobeying him in our past generation it's what is this generation because we committed spiritual adultery. That's why we can, we um went into various captivities. That includes slavery. So our punishment was our woman being whores. So in a way, it's not your fault. The, the, the reason that you're the way you are was because, like I said, that was the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But I'm saying that to say that's why the Lord has set up men. Like it says in Jeremiah, I'm going to just grab it. Jeremiah 3 and verse 15, it says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Because the Lord has set up men to teach according to his heart on what you should be doing. So now that you know that sleeping with multiple men is being a whore, you're supposed to stop. As of right now, we're supposed to be rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability, forsaking our wicked ways because 
just like you women or you men I was in the world at one point as well but when you come into this truth you're supposed to be putting off the old man you're supposed to be like I said rehearsing the righteous act to the best of your ability trying to do things that do the things that's pleasing in the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai before destruction comes because believe it or not the Lord is about to basically break all hell is about to break loose World War 3 is basically started the missiles are going to get shot over here and the ones that the Lord is not pleased with which are the ones that's not part of the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed along with the heathen that are on this side that are not put and basically any heathen that's any anything that's not part of the elect on this side of in America is going to be destroyed point bank period period And even if you, that's not to say that you flee to another country or something, because if the Lord wants to get you, he's going to get you wherever you are. But the fact of the matter is that you're supposed to be trying to do what's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Lord willing, you be delivered from the destruction to come. But like I said, the point of the lesson is that it's a waste of time to, to chase these hoes. You're supposed to be seeking the kingdom of heaven because that's what ultimately that's what we're supposed to be doing in these times because women are a, a big distraction it'll take you off your, your you know take your mind off the, the the mission at hand and i might look old to some people i might look young to some people but in my opinion i had a good amount of experience dealing with women especially before i came into this truth and I can honestly say that majority of the time dealing with them is a waste of your time because if you're supposed to be seeking the Lord, studying, present your body as a living sacrifice for the Lord, preaching his word, you really don't have time to deal with these women. But a lot of these women like to play games and try to find ways to ultimately take your attention because as we know in this kingdom especially with the social media and things of that nature these women love attention attention is like a drug like the scriptures say Job 9 and 24 the earth was given into the hands of the wicked and that wicked is the so called white man he set up his kingdom to be polluted and wicked and push the lust of the flesh that's why women are allowed to make thirst traps on the internet. They're allowed to make OnlyFans. They're allowed to sleep with multiple men and not get punished because this is Satan's kingdom, like I stated a few minutes ago. But I'm going to grab Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. It said, And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart. And we don't know when the scriptures say heart is talking about your mind. It snares and nets. Because like I said, their whole goal for the most part is to try to catch a man, you know, trap them in their snares and nets. Once they get them, they feel like they conquered them. They get bored with them and then want to bounce over to another man and they allow to do it because like i said judgment isn't executed speedily in this kingdom but the lord is going to start showing that the things that he say the judgment is going to start happening more and more he said and her hands is bands who so pleased of god shall escape from her but the sinner shall be taken by her and as we can see, a lot of these men in this world has been taken by the snares and nets of a woman. A lot of men have been murdered over women. Men have been put in jail over women. Kingdoms has been have been destroyed because of women. We can use the example of King Solomon, the greatest king that that lived the wisest king 
And that was Yahweh Shai in the flesh during that time. When he got older, you know, he started committing adultery. Basically, spiritual adultery. He was allowing his women to worship their gods. And that's one of the biggest things that the, that the Heavenly Father hates. Because of the because because of the because of the woman. I'm gonna grab Nehemiah. Bear with me. You know I'm using the sword, so sometimes it takes a little. Well, Nehemiah chapter 13. Uh, verse 26 because if you read this um the book of Nehemiah you'll see in this chapter Nehemiah was basically extremely mad with our people because our people have went off multiple times and the Lord sent would send saviors to deliver our people but this time when we went into slavery you know the Lord really did a number on our people. And that's why a lot of our people don't know who they are this time of day. But the Lord has always left a remnant. And that Lord and the Lord is waking up the remnant to wake up his people. Especially during these times because like I said, all hell is about to break loose. So it's time for you to turn back, repent to the Lord. Nehemiah 13 and 26 said, Did not Solomon king of Israel send by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him who was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women call this cause the sin. So like I said, these women will knock you off your your goal. Your goal should be the kingdom of heaven. Because let's say you have a woman or family. The Lord possibly will have mercy on you on your family because of your works. So the least you could do is try. That's why I'm not a hypocrite, but I try to limit my dealings with women. So for the most part, I don't, I'm not like how I was before I came into the truth, like actively looking for women because before I came into the truth, my main thing was on getting money. That was the first thing, because I, I was the type of guy, if I had no money, I wasn't even thinking. My mindset couldn't be thinking about no woman, but getting money, women, ultimately that was all I thought about, because I didn't drink, I don't drink, don't smoke or anything, so that was what, what I was focused on. But like I said, I limit my dinners and for the most part I pray that the Lord give me the strength because I try my best not to you know <laughs> try to pursue these women but like I said me limiting my dinners is like I don't actively go seeking women but say like if I'm walking down the street or something and I cross path with a woman and and, 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 and and Satan is tempting my spirit that bad that I have to approach that woman or say something to that woman In a way, if she, you know, turns me down or say she got a man, because as you know, like I said, we're rehearsing the righteous act. So if a woman says that she have a man, because we know for the most part, it's going to be seriously tough to find a virgin unless you sitting outside of, I'm not saying to do this, but I'm just saying it's it's, it's rare that you're going to find a, a, a virgin woman that's of age according to this society. So... Like I said, we were rehearsing the righteous act. So if a woman has a man, you're supposed to leave her alone. So say if the woman says she has a man or she just turns me down in general. I, I'm kind of thankful because I know that these women are a distraction. And like I said, and I look at that as the, the, the will of the Lord. The Lord is basically delivering me from temptation. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 9, it said, The Lord knoweth 
how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. So she might tell me, she might look that good, you know, like I said, tear my flesh that bad, turn me down. And the Lord might send her to an ungodly man. And she might be, she might be me crazy as hell. So the Lord, you don't know what the Lord delivered you from. Like I said, that, it's a lot of these good looking women that could be complete demons. You got to look at it as like, like a lot of things in this world, certain things like that look good. It's not good. Like, you know, cupcakes, fast food, the convenience of having fast food. Um, drugs might make you feel good, but it's not good for you. Microwave food, you might put your food in the microwave compared to taking your time to actually prepare your food. It's not good for you. So you got to take that into consideration. Just because a girl look good, like I said, a lot of these women, whether they look good, whether they have, you know, money, etc. A lot of them are spiritually dead depressed because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. The woman is supposed to be taking care of the house, raising up the children. But in this kingdom, they want to be, like I said, they want to be independent woman. When, like I said, the Lord set the woman up to be a help me unto a man. And also, like I said, if I see a woman that tempt me like that and I can't help myself, I, I try my best to, you know, like I said, like I said, the scriptures were written a full time for our learning. I, I just try to run so many scriptures to my head, you know, past experiences to try to, you know, tell me to tell myself to just just leave it alone, leave it alone. Because like I said, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm in the flesh, but. I can say that the Lord has guided me in ways that's better than than I was. And I got to say, the water, you how about Shem Yahweh Shah for that? Because, like I said, it was at one point, it was a different woman damn near every day. But now, once I found this truth, I have the comfort. Of, and I understand that this is not, this is not our rest. We don't have to settle for drama. Because that's why that's one of the reasons why I don't have kids as well. Because I noticed that, you know, you start a relationship with a woman, everything is all great and good. Like I said, like I said, woman hot snares and nets. Everything's so great and good, that honeymoon stage, because women know how to, how to act good to get your attention. And then once she feel like she got you, that's when she start acting stupid. And then, cause she gets bored. They like little children. She get bored real quick. So then she wanna, the excitement, the excitement is not there like it used to be. Now she find any reason to so-called stray away. Maybe you work too much. Maybe you don't work enough. Maybe you too tall. Well, or maybe you too short. Maybe you don't drive a nicer car. Maybe your house isn't big as the other guy's car house. You don't push her enough. You push her too much. Find any types of reason. But you understand. I jump to the curses. I'm going to grab one. It says Deuteronomy 28. We know in this chapter they got the blessings we will receive if we obey the Heavenly Father. And verses 15 on down to 68 is the curses we will receive. But I'm going to jump to verse 56. It says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. So as you see, it says, Her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. So... I've seen a plenty of couple articles about women doing terrible things to their children. 
But like I said, the whole fact of the matter is that, that I should be evil towards her husband. So I keep that in the back of my mind because as I sit and look at that nice, attractive woman, I think about, like I said, the the the, the order, how it goes. Fun in the beginning. Oh, she's all up and into you, all in your face, calling you all the time, giving you all this sex, much as you want, to the point you like, damn, slow down. But then her eye become evil. That curse, her eye become evil towards the, her husband. It definitely became evil, evil towards the husband of her bosom, the, the actual husband that took her virginity because then she wouldn't be in your face at that time. But the fact of the matter is that even if the woman is a virgin, they grow up in this wicked society which pushes adultery. Cardi B's, you know, sexy reds. These movies. Like I said, Job 9 and 24, the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. The so-called white man. And he wants the Lord people to go off because they know that once when we sin against the Lord, it pushes us further away from our power. But that's why Yahweh Shai died on the cross for the nation of Israel to give us grace and mercy. Basically, he's our lawyer, mediator, because the elect is going to be the ones that's fighting against the flesh. More so sowing towards the spirit. But two-thirds of our people are going to continue to sow towards the flesh, which is going to lead to their destruction. But like I say, even if the girl is a virgin, you got to think of this curse. Verse 30, it says, Thou shalt betroth off a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt dwell there, and thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shall not gather the grapes there. So the point was when it said, Thou shalt betroth off a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Because that's happening a lot here, especially in America. These women are sleeping with multiple men. And that's part of the curses. So what can we do? Only thing we could do is, like I said, repent, turn back, seek the old paths, the paths of doing what we're supposed to be doing. Like I said, you woman, you have a man, just deal with that one man. You men, you talking to a female, deal with that female. If you find another female and she has a man, don't deal with her. If you find if you find a female another female she doesn't have a man I mean you could do whatever you had to but to be honest like I said as of right now these women are should be further behind on your mind your mind should be seeking the kingdom of heaven because then when we get into the kingdom of heaven we will receive many wives like I said but you got to keep these things in mind like I said, the point of this lesson is we're supposed to be chasing the kingdom. Especially if you get older. As a man that's, that's, that's at a certain age, you should you should have had your fair share. I mean, I ain't going to say you should have had your fair share in women. But if you haven't, I'm telling you now, it's, 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 it's more so a waste of time. Isaiah 19 and 14, it said, The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. So the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit, especially in America. And the, they have caused Egypt to earn every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. And like I said, America is spiritually Egypt. So the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the world. That's why you see a lot of these LGBT, all this perverseness going on. Like I said, it's spiritually Sodom as well. They want to consider it to be more than one gender. They want to they wanna do everything that's contrary in the sight of the Lord because the Lord has mingled a perverse spirit so you been if you're in this truth you're supposed to be trying to distance yourself be holy like holy means to be separate and focus on this truth learn what's pleasing in the sight of the Lord that's what you should be focused on right now and not chasing these hoes and you know it's a perverse spirit in the earth because these women got a lot of these women got demons on them because I, I thought of that before I came into the truth because I, I like I said I'm an analytical person so I was like these women gotta have demons on I ain't say demons because I wasn't in the truth at the time but I was like sign up with these women because it's no way that a woman can stand in a club line below freezing with a mini skirt on just to get into a club it's like, is it really that serious? 
because they got demons on them. They like attention that bad. Like I said, that goes to one attention. And 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 major some or majority of them have men. <laughs> like what is your what is your purpose? Because they don't have the spirit to want to be wives. They just females. They not they not they don't want to be wives. And like I said. It's a, it's a, it's a remnant a, a remnant of a woman that's part of the elect, of course. But for the most part, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. You should be focused on the Lord because the whole point is that we supposed to be putting the Lord before all. You can't be treating the Lord like a side chick because the Lord then the Lord gonna see, treat you like a side chick when he missiles fire and that lake of fire come over here. First Timothy chapter five and verse six. Since I was talking about the club situation, it says, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And like I said, most of these women live in pleasure. But this scripture, you can liken that to the murk, because the murk is considered that great whore that's going to be burned with fire. Written in Revelation, the 17th chapter. A woman that's living in pleasure is dead while she liveth, because that's not something she's supposed to be doing. She's supposed to be, like I said, taking care of the house, pleasing her man. But most of these women don't want to do that. So you get you one of these women chasing these women, and she's out ripping and running the streets. And you trying to figure out where your woman is at when you're supposed to be doing the work of the Lord. Now you focus on her, taking your mind off the mission at hand. How you think the Lord going to look at you? And I speak to myself first and foremost. I fear the Lord. I pray the Lord put the spirit on me to stay focused on his truth because... I know the Lord can allow Satan to attack you in all types of ways. Read the book of Job. Job is in subjection to, under subjection to the Lord. I'm going to jump down to verse 15. It says, for some, well, I'm going to um, start at verse 12. Well, I'm going to start at 14 and say, I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak pro reproachfully. And they doing that a lot in this kingdom. And they not marrying young or burn. They, if they is burning children, they probably burn them just to get child support. Or whatever reason. Burn it just to, just to get on, just to vex the man. You know, molest the man's spirit. that The, the man she's pregnant by spirit. Just to give their pimp, the so-called white man, you know, Uncle Sam, these elites that's ruling in, in this world. They, to give them part of the money from that child support. But I'm going to grab, jump down to 15 and say, for some are already turned aside out to Satan. Majority of these women turn out the side of Satan. They chose death, just like Eve in the garden. When she, you know, followed, ate the forbidden fruit from the serpent, which we know that serpent was not an actual snake. It was a, it was a cunning man, you know, and the fruit was a philosophy of how this kingdom is ran today. It's no family, no proper family structure because these devils, knew that they had to take the man out of the house because they can ultimately guide the woman once they take the strong man out of the house. And that's, they knew exactly what they was doing. And then, like I said, you got to think about it. I'm going to keep going hammering the point. Like I said, a woman hot is snares and nets. They like to play games. So even if you do find, you know, like sometimes the passport bros, they go overseas. It's like, that's a lot of time, in my opinion, traveling all the way overseas just to get a woman. Like that, you know how much time that's going to take? But you got to look at it in this aspect. These women know how to play the game that they need to play. That's just like, because they know that, they know that, like you might have one that's that that that's more bold than the other, cause she she might look better, so she's she's more bold. So she feel like she can get away with certain things, talking to you a certain way. And if you're not a strong man, you're not gonna cut her off, cause you like I said, that's why it's best to not deal with them, especially right now, because you might be thinking, oh, I can handle her, but whole time Satan play with your flesh that bad. Now you, damn thinking about her so bad but then you got the ones that's more humble because they don't look as good 
So they might be that way because they don't have the opportunity to do, you know, with that with that good looking one guy. But a lot of these women are so proud, even though the ones that's not that attractive are proud. But when I say that, it makes me think of this scripture. Um, Sirach chapter 19 and verse 26, it says, There's a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly, but inwardly his, he is full of deceit. So like I said, it could be a woman that acts as if she's so sweet and innocent. Because I, I noticed that about men in the truth. They, they, they you know, Satan has sent a woman to their way. And she seems so sweet and innocent, like she's in order. But then after a while, she show her true colors. It says, casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not. Where he is not known, he will do these be a mischief before thou be aware. And if for want of power he be hindered from sinning, yet when he findeth opportunity, he will do evil. So like I said, like it says, when he findeth opportunity, he will do evil. So some people can't do certain things because they're not in a position to do it. A woman might play a game, act as if she's she um is a great woman, you know. I say things like I cook, I clean, I will do all this and that and dirt. Then once she find a man with more money that likes her and she feel like she can get away with talking to you like trash, then she's gonna do it. So you gotta think of scriptures like that. What am I gonna So it's best that you seek the king, cause like as of right now, people are still being able to, you know, buy, sell, move around. Women are able able to walk around, you know, wearing skimpy clothes without nothing happening to them. Which things are happening to some of them, but it's not as extreme as. It's going to be during the time of Jacob's trouble yet. Because like the apostle told I say, when we're in Jacob's trouble, you're going to know you're in Jacob's trouble. And this is when these this scripture is going to kick in. It said, and in that, Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day, seven women, and we know seven means completion, so it could be more or less, should take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Because when all hell is breaking loose, when these women losing their jobs, like I said, when they when they lose their jobs and aren't able to defend for themselves because the Lord is taking away that pride from them, the devil, so-called white man, and take, took away all their benefits from them that they received in this kingdom because they sided with Satan. And all hell is breaking loose. They're going to be seeking out their man to defend them specifically a man of the Lord because those are the only ones that's going to be covered during that time. So that's why it's best to just focus on this truth. Matthew 6 and 33, Yahweh Shai stated this. So you, you should use supposed to take heed it says but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so in the kingdom you're gonna have many women like it says and let me grab isaiah chapter 60 and verse 33 No, Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 21. I'm going to start at verse 21. It says, Thy people also should be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in, this, in his time. So in the kingdom, like it says, the little, a little one should become a thousand so you're not going to have to worry about that you're not going to have to worry about in the kingdom having whores as women because everybody is going to be righteous our woman is going to be in their right mind because we're going to have the law, statute, commandments written in our inward parts the nation of Israel will 
the heathen are not going to have that benefit. But the Israelites are going to have the law, statutes, and commandments written in their inward parts. And we're not going to go off again. Our women, the ones that think, oh, I don't need a man. And, uh, and, and no, you can't have more than one woman. That's not going to be in their mindset because they're going to be in their proper mind. But like I said, why they're in this kingdom now, they got a, a perverse spirit on them. Like the Lord said, he's mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of. And then the thing is, like I said, I like to get straight to the point. And I don't like wasting my time. So, like I said, the fact that I know that, uh, like like this first scripture I brought out, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26, King Solomon said, a woman hard as snares and nets. Majority of these women like to play games. Like I said, my focus is on this truth. And I pray that the Lord put the spirit on me to continue to focus on this truth first before anything. Because I don't want the Lord to put me to the side when all hell is breaking loose. Because I fear the Lord. And the Lord is the one that's gonna only one that's gonna be able to cover you during that time. But because like even I'm just saying, because even even some men, like I said, of course, it's for a peace of mind, but like I said, you gotta. You got to you got to understand that like I said Satan can play with your flesh. So I'm just saying this for the fact that some men, you know, they say get you a heathen woman. You know, of course, the part, I, 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 I I'm not going to lie. Most of, more the, the heathen woman are majority in order, but I'm just saying for you got to you got to examine yourself. Like the scripture says 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, is examine yourself. You got to understand what type of person you are because you mess around and get you a heathen woman. You you mess around and, and fall in love with that with that so-called white woman. And like I said, it's through the it's the spirit because we don't know she could be an Israelite foreigner. But say let's say that she is a white woman or a, a Kushite, which is an Ethiopian, or a Hamite, which is an African. If she's in America, for the most part, every heathen is going to be destroyed in America. So you want to be dealing with her. You fall in love with her, and then you mess around. And having the back of your mind like, damn, every time you're looking at her, my woman going to be destroyed. <laughs> so you got to understand what you're dealing with. But that's why I said, Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians, let me, let me grab, like I said, I ain't saying that these even won't give you a, 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 a more peace of mind than these, so, than these, especially the ringleader, the tribe of Judah, the so-called black woman. They, I ain't saying that the, the, um, the heathen woman ain't going to give you a better peace of mind than them, but... I'm just saying you better pay attention, examine yourself and what you can deal what you possibly can deal with, pray to the Lord for discernment. Because like Apostle Paul said, it says, um, he said First Corinthians seven and verse seven, it said, For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man have his proper gift, one after this manner and another after that. So basically he's saying that he would rather you be like him because the Apostle Paul didn't deal with women because he was so focused on his ministry that he didn't deal with women. And the Lord put the spirit on him to do that. But like I said, like I said, so that's why it's best. Like if you do have a woman, if she's like, like Apostle Paul stated in this chapter, um, if you have a woman that's not, that don't believe, you know, because that's one thing you come into the truth. A lot of people come into the truth and they trying to get their woman to, you know, conform to them. Or that woman might try to get their man that doesn't believe. But like I said, if the, if the woman or your unbelieving husband or wife doesn't believe and they please to do it with you, like they're not hindering you from doing what you got to do. You know, like as far as a man, if the Lord put the spirit on you to push this truth, if she's not hindering you from that, you know, going, going out on the highways and the byways to preach this word. If she's not, if they're not hindering you from doing what's pleasing the sight of the Lord, then ultimately continue to dwell with them. But I'm going to jump down to verse 28. It says, but, um, well, I'm going to jump down to verse 29. It says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remain of that both they that had wives be as though they had none. And they that weep as though they wept not. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possess not. And they that use this world is not abusing it for the fashion of this world passed away. But the point is in 29, it said, but verse 1 Corinthians 7, 29, but I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that had wives, though they had not. So ultimately, you're gonna be so, you should be fo so focused on this truth that you can't even focus on the person you're dealing with. So what's the point? 
what's the point of having five women? Like I said, it's best if you can go, if you had to spit on you, to not deal with them at all. I'm going to finish off with 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, I will therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shahamashiach. No man at war entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So if the Lord chose you to be a soldier, you should be thankful because that's one of the greatest gifts that you can receive, especially on this side, outside of receiving, being um, part of the elect delivered out of this wicked kingdom. Like I said, no man that war from entangling himself with the feds of his life. So you shouldn't be focused on trying to be prosperous in this kingdom, trying to build big families, you know. Because like I said, we're in, we're in war right now. We're behind enemy lines. Like I said, our enemies, written in Psalms 83, the ringleader Esau Edom, is going to come down with great wrath because he know that his kingdom is coming to an end. So your focus should be on this kingdom of heaven, not focus on these hoes because now you got in the back of your mind hoping that all five of your women be delivered and that's what you shouldn't be focused on but that's all i got shalom